guys and gals, Nary here for Drake Wing Gaming. So if you mount Twitter, the gaming drag today, I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Glory Hounds. So y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now up for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome awards like permanent access to our community, Discord, server, and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Ooh, anyway y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Let's see. Oh, we are. There we go. Alright. The look on Lou's face tells me they're not entirely convinced. You mean you want you want criminals to know they'll have to deal with, uh... They lean on their hand. The Don Hound? Precisely so. We're still working on the branding. And how is it that Alex, of all people, got roped into this? I've known him forever, and he hardly seems like hero material. Hey! Milo seems to take pleasure in Lou's remark, judging by his smirk. Mr. DeRouge is rookie, yes, but he is not without certain qualities. He looks good in rubber. It's not rubber, either. <clears throat> Alex demonstrated his cunning and tenacity in a most dire situation. His tail starts wagging, almost wa almost swatting a smaller mouse walking past his barstool in the face. He confronted an armed criminal protecting an innocent bystander without hesitation, saved her life in the process. I wouldn't say entirely without hesitation, but I'll take the compliment. He may be inexperienced, but he has what it takes to be a hero. That, I promise. I don't know if he's speaking the truth or if it's sunk cost fallacy talking at this point. Lou ponders at his statement for a moment, punctuating their thoughts by slurping their tea loudly. Are we talking about the same, Alex? Uh, the one who broke down crying on a roller coaster for five year olds because I, and I quote, the drop was too steep. It was steep! It was a meter tall. I swear it was taller. But I suppose you did save Miss De Bruin's bacon last night. And you're absolutely sure you like this career switch. I know it's kind of out there, Lou, but it feels right. They sigh. All right, I'll buy it for now. At a discount, but I'll buy it. But do you really think the scum of the earth is going to quiver in fear seeing you dressed up in, uh... They look in Roll's direction. Highly advanced materials. Can't you tell the difference? Can't tell you the details, I'm afraid. Industry secret at all. Right. I'm not going to pretend like I get it completely, but if you're sure this is the right job for you, then who am I to judge? Besides, you seem to be in good hands. Lou glances at Milo. Pause? Pause? Hands is good. Uh, just making sure. I will keep Dawnhound and Duskhound safe. I mean, if something happened to Raul, we'd both be out of a job. Make no mistake, all of Shippersburg, the populace and criminals alike, n will know our names. Ho oh, ho! Lou rubs their paws together, not entirely unlike a cartoon villain concocting a dastardly scheme. If you want to get the word out there, you've got to work on your media presence. Second, y'all. Coffee time. You need people to see you. What are you getting at? They crack their knuckles, audible even over the loudness of the crowd and the generic gay house music that is still playing. Time to put my bachelor's, my bachelor's in marketing to work. Since when do you have a bachelor's in marketing? Had it for a couple of years now. Been working on it during my off time at the reception desk. Just don't tell Brevard I said that. My eyes are my eyes are drawn to rules in spite of my best efforts, but he doesn't seem to take umbrage. You need a person who knows what's going on in Shippersburg. I can help. That would be... He taps his chin. Very helpful, actually. Do you guys have a name yet? Name? Who's the comic geek? Who's the comic geek here? Hero teams have names, right? What's yours? Dawnhound and Duskhound? Too plain. The Dawn Squad? Not punchy enough. Crew for crushing of criminals. What is this? A metal band? Uh, let's forget the names for a sec. Did you get my text last night? You made the drunk selfie you sent me at twelve. Uh, I did. You looked very flattering. Uh, the one before that, then. Uh, that one took ten, took me ten minutes to decipher. Something about wanting inflammation on Camo's whereabouts. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I know, I figured it probably had something to do with the gown after you mentioned you couldn't get it back, so I messaged Finn and asked her about it. You got Finn's phone number? Lou clicks their tongue and finger guns at me. I've still got game. Anyway, Camo. Uh, Finn had looked into it, but the trail went cold on her end. The name didn't show up in any database, and the temp agency website went offline after the robbery. Kamu was pseudonym, most likely. 
Yeah, I was curious too, so I rode up on him while I waited for you guys to show up. So did we, but we were unable to make any headway. Well, you've got a super sleuth on the case now. They pull up their screen again. I couldn't find much when I looked up the name alone. I had a similar issue. But when I added some keywords based on the stuff Alex texted me, I found some old blog posts. Very old blog posts. Most of them didn't have that many views. The algorithm definitely didn't favor this guy. Um, anything we can use? It was mostly pictures of things he'd made, a lot of very expensive materials on display. Materials you don't just buy at your local fabric store. And just a ton of complaining about how underappreciated he felt. That was the only thing, though. You guys remember when Shippersburg Museum had the crown jewels on display last year? The ones that got stolen, right? It was all over the news. Every guard got knocked out cold. What's more, no one showed up in the security footage. The Saltwater Syndicate took the blame for it at the time based on circumstantial evidence. Some members got arrested, but the jewels were never recovered. So imagine my surprise when I saw this on Camo's blog. I turned the screen towards us. It shows a mannequin wearing a strangely chunky necklace with a distinctive gem on its added centerpiece. That is quite, uh, well, I wouldn't say pretty. Like now. That gem's from one of the royal scepters, I'm sure of it. If he did that to a timeless piece of jewelry, I shudder to think what he's planning for the Money Talks gown. Then our course of action is clear. I agree. It is? First, we have to take stock of all the outfits Camo has made. Affirmative, that we analyze materials used in outfits. And cross-reference them with all reported thefts of rare fabrics, garments, and jewelry in the past few years. Afterward, we look into commonalities and deviations of thefts. By doing so, we can deduce which crimes have been committed by perpetrator. We follow that up with a thorough investigation of how fashion trends have evolved over time. Finally, we use process of elimination to determine most likely target for next target for next heist. Before you go and do all that, mind showing me the card you guys found? Fenna mentioned it. I have it with me. I doubt it would be much use. I looked into it. There was nothing we could find. Milo, pro Milo produces it from his breast pocket. As he hands it over to Lou, I catch a scent on it that, because of all the smoke from the capsule, I hadn't noticed before. There's a flower, hibiscus, and lemon? Hold on. I snatch it out of Milo's hands before Lou can grab it. Hey, what's the big deal? What's the big idea? Sorry, I just... I bring it up to my nose. Did one of you spray perfume on this? I don't smell anything. Neither do I. It's faint. But I'm catching a whiff of something. Flowers and lemon. Lemon, you say? He leans over and takes one of the candles sitting on the bar. i burning the place down. I do not intend to. Hold, ca hold card over flame. Of course! Invisible ink! I do as I'm instructed, isn't it? Because the card heats up an image slowly is seared into it. Below it is a text that says, Come find me. That's a... logo of some kind? Lou, do you know? I think I've seen that somewhere before. Might have to do with the new convention center. Her face goes blank. Of course! Bonds through bondage! What? There's a big fashion show being held at the new convention center tonight. That's where he's going to be next. How can you be so certain? I have to agree, it is easy to jump to conclusions, but to dive into the heart of a criminal, criminal mind isn't easy. He's a self-proclaimed fashion king who wants to build a name for himself. Some of the world's most famous fashion designers will be showing off their creations made with rare and expensive materials. So it's a once-in-a-decade event. Highly exclusive. We might have trouble getting in, then. Getting in may not may be the least of our worries. I can only assume this card was a direct challenge to whoever discovered it. That might mean trouble. How so? Thank you. Think about it. We recovered the capsule from the Syndicate, but Camo had no way of knowing we'd be the ones to take it meaning he was confident enough that he dared to challenge Ahab and his crew directly. He must be dangerous adversary. It's possible he's not operating alone. It's a risk we need to take. I agree. We made a promise. I refuse to let this wretched chameleon give us the slip. We'd be letting a lot of people down if it backed out now. Our attention shifts as we notice Willem heading our way. All right. Sorry it took so long, but I got you all your drinks. A fruity drink for the handsome birdie. I am grateful. And a soda for the big boy. Big boy? I, uh, thank you, kindly. 
I watched as Milo twirls a little drink umbrella around between his index finger and his thumb, smiling to himself. He takes a sip and closes his eyes, smacking his lips he does smacking lips he does not possess. This is exquisite. Why, well, thank you, sir. Hmm. Don't you want to take a break? With, I mean, Charlene. Bloody hell, I do. This corset's squeezing my organs like a lemon. You require assistance. I am a mixologist myself. Willem collects himself, and his voice immediately goes back up several octaves. Oh no, sugar, that won't be necessary. I got an extra helper today. Thank the Lord up above. He should be here any minute now. Oh? Oh? Oh no, is it going to be who I think it is? The door opens and the whole world stops as we all turn to see who's standing in the doorway. Oh. Not who I was expecting. Okay. It's a mandrel, about as tall as I am. His frame casts an ominous shadow into the interior. I see you all are enjoying yourselves. His gruff voice and commanding presence are inescapable. His eyes run over the crowd. Ain't ya? The fur on the back of my neck bristles as he takes a few slow, menacing steps into the bar. You could cut the tension in the air with a knife. He takes a deep breath, bearing his huge canines. A lot of people in here today. Several of the patrons scatter to get out of his way. One of them lets out a startled yelp as he brushes past them. The rest hold their breath, trying desperately to go unnoticed. His eyes meet mine. I swallow. Shit, I wasn't counting on this. Well, if it ain't you, nice running into you here. He walks up to me in long strides. I can feel Raul tensing up again. Who is this guy? I could ask you the same thing. He stops in front of me. His eyes flick between me, Raul, and Milo. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god. What? That's his dad? What? Oh my god, that's adorable. It's darn nice to see my son's making some new buddies. Sorry if I frightened you. I tend to have that effect on folks for some reason or another. He laughs as hard as he always does. A lifetime of this and he still doesn't know how to make a good first impression. Name's Baron. Baron de Rouge. De Rouge? Raul looks at me. Then at the mandrel in front of us, who laughs. What? Family resemblance didn't give it away? Aww. He swings one of his arms around me and gives me a noogie. Hey, stop! I'm not a kid anymore! You're always gonna be a kid to your dad, son. I push him away. Hmm. <laughs> but you'll always be my boy. Roel looks on, confused as Lou waves dad over. Baron! Lou! He hugs them as the rest of the bar resumes partying, the threat having subsided. How you doing, kiddo? Pretty good, all things considered. How's the kids? Have they been behaving? They won't stop talking about you since you showed them the fire truck. Ha! <laughs> was right happy to. Tell them I can bring their friends next time. I'll even let tell the boys to let them sound the old siren. He proceeds to make siren noises. He always has to include the siren noises. What are you doing here, Dad? I heard there was a party and that you was going to be here, so I came a-running. Why, ain't a man allowed to come and support his son? I even brought my rainbow pins. Look. I, oh, uh, you are. Uh, I just really wasn't expecting it. This isn't exactly your scene. Ha, look like a deer caught in the headlights, son. I'll be helping a willy about a bit today. Just have fun with your friends and pretend I ain't here. It's going to be damn near impossible. Pleased to meet you. I'm pleased as punch to have you, sir. Charlene, you're even prettier than the last time I laid eyes on you. Is he doing the voice again? Okay, I'll do the voice. Oh, you old hound. Willem, Willem giggles. At least I think it's supposed to be a giggle. It's more like a shriek so shrill it's a miracle our glasses aren't shattering. All right, y'all, I'm going to pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout-out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank y'all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver tier patron, Kate Silverman. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. And thank you to our gold tier patron, Amr. You're awesome. Thank you for your... Uh, blah. Sorry, y'all. I messed that up. Old habits. Old habits. But anyway, if y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to not safe for content as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye!